Welcome everyone to our beautiful German Sangha, Zoom Sangha. My humble embrace, Dandavats. Also to Gurudev, please bless us today that we can listen with the ears that are very thirsty and we can accept with the hearts that are very humble and perceptive. And uh, all Vaishnavas, please bless us also with all of your beautiful comments and sharings. So we had, all of you probably had a beautiful Shivaratri yesterday. That's why I sang the prayers to Gopeshwara. Because he is the protector of Bhakti. And he is also the one who is opening my eyes. Also, Shiva is kind of like Nityananda is in the category of Guru Tattva. He is guiding us to pure bhakti. He is purifying us and he is guiding us into the realm of pure divine love. And as we all remember, it is Shiva who has wrote, written the beautiful poem of Radha Kripa Kataksha. So that's a nice thing to meditate on and always a beautiful uh, inspiration to feel what kind of prema, you know, Lord Shiva, Mahadev, Gopeshwara can offer to those souls who are willing to go into the deepest and most pure realms of unconditional love, to the realms of Radha Dasyam. So today we are reading the verse number 17, which is a very special verse. It's about being a marked maidservant of Srimati Radhika. And I remember always, Gurudev, when we were reading this, how precious this is to you, the feeling and the aspiration to become a marked maidservant of Srimati Radhika. And what does it mean to be a marked maidservant? All translation, I guess they are ready. Yes. Everybody is set up. Jai Gavavarnila. Good. Oh, you whose golden hue possesses the pride of the color of a turmeric bulb scratched by a fingernail. When will you, having out of great satisfaction marked my arm, my arms, with your emblems of good fortune that are anointed with your very lovely foot leg. When will you bestow the service of your lotus feet on me. Again, I will read because it's a complex prayer and there's so much in it. It starts with the comparison. Oh, you whose golden hue possesses the pride of a color of a turmeric bulb scratched by a fingernail. I want to start here a little bit because we we think, I thought in the beginning, what is the meaning of a turmeric bulb scratched by a fingernail? You know, when you are a cook, and I know Tarun, you are also cooking with the fresh turmeric, it's the best. It's one of the best things to cook with. 
like fresh ginger, also fresh turmeric. It is a it is a like a root, and it looks kind of gr brownish. You know, it doesn't look very beautiful from the outside. But once you scratch it, then this color that is inside is overwhelming. It's like a golden yellow. When you scratch or you cut the turmeric, it is very beautiful. So what is the meaning here of this golden turmeric bulb that has been scratched by a fingernail? I thought it is the beauty of Shimati Radhika when she has been scratched in her love to Mohan, when she is so fully, you know, and it's explained later on, I don't want to give everything the secrets out yet already, but she is so much in her divine love to Mohan that she is blooming fully with all of her yellow golden colors of love. And that's why she is so beautiful. She is shining. She is full of ecstasy and she is also in charge. This is the Leela when Shimati Radhika is in charge. When will you, having out of great satisfaction, marked my arms with your emblems of good fortune that are anointed with your very lovely foot leg. And I just brought from Vrindavan last time, these are Shimati Radhika's lotus feet, and you see these beautiful emblems. And all of these signs on her lotus feet, they have a beautiful, special and deep meaning, which is another subject. <laughs> It could be, you know, long subjects to talk about of this, but you see here, you see the Bali corn and the umbrella, how she's always protecting us with her umbrella of love, and the flag, she's always victorious. Many, many beautiful signs, there's a Tulsi, Tulsi plant, and many beautiful signs, the fish is always swimming in the rasa, in the you know, emotions of love to Mohan. And she is marking with this lotus foot, which has been painted, just freshly painted, by who? By Mohan. And she's marking to Lassie's arms. She's blessing her with all of her love that is coming through this kick. And this is the story and the divine Leela, which is the background of this verse. And bestow the service of your lotus feet on me. This is about the Charan Seva. It's the lotus feet service and all the different, different varieties that the maidservants are having in their uh, yeah, how do you say, let's say the, the magnitude of their kinds of services to Shimati Radhika's lotus feet is great. It's very uh, unlimited. And here, Raghunath Das is praying as Tulsi Manjari, please bless me that I can be marked by this beautiful lotus feet of yours in the mood when you are so full of shining pride. It's also about the pride of Srimati Radhika and in which sp uh, situations of her uh, exchange with Mohan, she is emanating this beautiful pride. <coughs> Please always feel free to uh, interrupt or add anything. I just try to, in my foolish Ego, I try to say something that I have learned from Gurudev. Shimati Radhika is very satisfied with Sri Raghunath Dasa's limitedly 
eager prayer for devotional service in the last verse. So we also remember, this is verse 17, and the last verse is verse 16. And what was he praying there? And why is Swamini so satisfied? And why she is expressing it? This satisfaction with this special kick of mercy. She, Tulasi Manjari, has been saying to Swamini, really, the, uh, my dear Swamini, you can offer me a friendship. I will worship it. I will put it on my head. I bow down to your friends and your offer of being a friend. But I just want to be your maidservant. I really appreciate that you want to offer me to be your girlfriend. But I want to be your maidservant. Just let me be your unpaid and humble Darcy. So that was making Shimati Radhika so happy that when the next revelation of his visions came, they were in such a deep leela, they were in such a special circumstances that she got marked as her eternal maidservant. And then Sri Raghunath Das laments, I don't wish to be acquainted with anyone who is not related with you in this world. Let the whole world know that I have nobody else but you. So that is also again one confirmation that I don't want to be, you know, just theoretically your servant not only in my meditations and in my bhajan. I want the whole world to know that I am your Dasi. We remember the songs of Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur where he is expressing that also. Radhika Charana Renu The lotus feet dust of Srimati Radhika is my treasure. And I don't want to listen to anyone who worships Madhava without Shimati Radhika's glories, without surrendering to her lotus feet. Everyone will understand that Tulasi is Sri Radhika's maidservant. So he's outing himself. He's explaining very boldly I am yours. And that's why Swamini is so satisfied. She likes this attitude of loyalty and this characteristic of the Dasis who are completely one-pointed. That's why we are listening this Vilapa Kushmanjali, this one-pointedness is our goal is our reminder, our line. We want to surrender to love. We want to live this beautiful love in the line of our dear Janavama, Goswami and Nityananda. We want to learn it from the Dasis. We want to listen from them and we want that this mood will come into my heart. Sooner or later, it will be fixed. That is the mercy as we have heard yesterday also from reading Vilapa Kushmanjali on and on and on. It's a mercy of being in contact with Raghunath Das Goswami, Tulsi, Tulsi Manjari. And who is giving this to us? It's been given by Shilananta Das Babaji and by our Gurudev who is explaining and revealing all the secrets of this kind of bhakti, which is called Radha Dasya, and which is a development through different stages, and which is the fruit 
of the soul who wants to go back to the lotus feet of Sri Radha Mohan. So I am yours, Srila Das is telling. Unadulterated. He is not swaying with body, mind and words. I'm not just your quiet, hidden maidservant. She's not doing nothing and sitting in the corner. She is active. She is expressing in any moment what Swamini wants to have expressed to her. And then this comes, this beautiful, beautiful expression of Baba. It's called this firm loyalty swallows the whole ego. Ma, isn't it? Sometimes we think, how will the ego be, you know, overcome? But Baba puts it in a very small sentence. It's the loyalty of feeling, I am your maidservant. It swallows the whole ego because it's like a determination of every day in my life. I want to have this as the underlying principle. That is the, the secret how to overcome the ego. To grow into a new understanding of myself which is not only theoretically, I am a servant of God. Yeah, that's very good, that's true. But in which, in which relation I am? And that is the firm or the fixed loyalty that swallows the ego. Maybe somebody would like to add on this. I invite you. I think it also means, can you hear me? Yes. It, I think it also means that uh, loyalty to Sri Guru is here mentioned, so that we are very much firm and fixed on the instructions of our beloved Gurudev, so that we can always be a kind above, that we always be firm, only following the instructions of Gurudev. So this loyalty in spiritual life is very, very important. So here, beautifully expressed in the, in the spiritual kingdom, but also in the material world here, we should be one point to the lotus feet of Gurudev, who will bring us to the lotus feet of Swamina. So this loyalty is very important. And by that loyalty, by this uh, unconditional surrender, like Bhaktivinoda Thakur is saying, Sharanakati, we can f factually attain this uh, that we go away from the identification with the body and we become more and more identified with our spiritual body this only works by being fully surrendered to the lotus feet and loyal to the lotus feet of Sri Guru Dev. yes thank you tarun that's the point because sometimes the vote is asking how can i apply it here what does it mean for me in this Sadaka Deha in my human body. It's not something that, uh, you know, it starts like a miracle. It starts by practicing the firm loyalty and love to my brothers and sisters and to my Gurudev and to all of those who serve, you know, in the, in, in the feelings of a Dasi and who want to also serve my Gurudev, that I can serve them. It's a very natural thing and also it's, it starts in all, all our own families. How can I serve my husband? How can I serve my wife? How can I serve my children, my mother, my father? How can I see them also as the spiritual soul, who they are? It also, it also prevents the mind from getting too confused. Like, you know, Raghunath Das Goswami, he was very angry when one, I think one servant was bringing him buttermilk 
from another from another place i think not from radika's place so this loyalty can also help our mind not to be too much confused with other other forms you know rupa goswami is saying we should fix ourselves in our stai bath as manjaris so that means we should be also loyal to that stai bath and we should not listen to you know we can listen but we sh- preferably we should not be confused you know with all kinds of of bhavs and all kinds of sanjari bhavs like you know we should always be fixed on our mantri bhav and not you know listening about it's very beautiful to listen cowherd boys and 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 sakya bhav and vatsalya bhav but we should be we should nurture our stai bhav our mantri bhav so this loyalty it is expressed in many many ways and like, like you beautifully said sunidhi it starts when you wake up in the morning how do you behave in this world how you behave to other people how you behave your workplace your 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 family your relatives so this loyalty means this loyalty to our identification that we are uh, a manchari are a servant we are we are that that bhav is us so this this body is not separate from us we are that that the body is made of bhav and we have to develop this bhav by, by being nice to everyone and and to be loyal and not to get confused in in tatva you know so many philosophical there are so many bhavs there are so many you know parakya bhav swakya bhav there are so many bhav we should always be very fixed in our stay bhav to the lotus feet of guru dev who gave us this mantra bhav yes to be steady in the feelings of sweetness of humility we can read the shikshastaka if we want to know what are the feelings that we are aspiring or sometimes also gurudev is has advised us to read the 12th chapter of bhagavad gita the qualities that uh, i remember kishori was reading two weeks ago and she said one time she was trying to practice this verse and every day she would concentrate on one character that she tried to meditate on for example not to be envious these are all very uh, challenging also and deep points and this is our daily life this is our you know sadhana what we do with people who are we, we are in contact with to always see the spirit soul to feel myself as dasi and to develop the qualities that have been expressed by our teachers by our gurudev to always remember them in all the different circumstances of my daily life and in my exchanges So I am not just your quiet hidden maid servant I want to be your marked maid servant This firm loyalty swallows the whole ego even in so called external consciousness the twanging or the sound of the siddha swarup is audible and even then the devotee desires the service of shri radha you see this is so interesting baba is using the word you know you have to check out every word baba is using the word so called so you can see by using this term so called external consciousness you can de- de- clearly see how much how much baba is writing from the internal internal point of view he's saying so called external because those siddha purushas like gurudev like baba like narayan maharaj like prabhupada they they don't differentiate uttama adhikaris they don't, don't differentiate between external and internal stuff so it's only our limited perception for them it is so called to deal with us it's not a big deal for them they don't they don't feel that and you can clearly see baba is saying he is so called external 
uh, world. So he is not, he is so much fixed in his Varupa Avesh that he, he uses the word so called. I find this very interesting. Yeah, this is uh, sweet. Uh, um. Actually, I have mentioned Abhiman of the Nasibha. It is like Abhiman. <clears throat> Abhiman means a fix from the out of the fog ego. When I am fixed in my Sarupa with that Abhiman. Jai Gurudev. Jai Gurudev. That Abhiman has to be fixed. Wonderful. Yes. Um, the eternal spiritual absorption of Sri Raghunath Das is unalterated. Tanu yes. Van Manubir Aham Tavasmi. I am yours with body, minds, and words. I am not just your quiet, hidden maidservant. I want to be your marked maidservant. At the point. And now you see that Abhiman, that is self conception, that, yes. Yes. Then false ego not disturb us. That Abhiman has to and your task. Yes, this firm loyalty swallows yes. the whole ego. Whole, whole ego. When I am your mark servant, means I am your dasi. And this is my ego, my pride. Mm -hmm. Follow my faulty. If not, then my false ego will never leave. I am your mark, my servant, and I am Radha Dasi Hoy Abhima. Tigrahi Mele Gokula Khan. Bhakti Vinod Thakusha. I am your mark, Abhima, living in this consciousness. Read again this slide, very important, underline. The eternal spiritual absorption of Sri Raghunath Das is unadulterated, oh, uninterrupted. Oh, Tanu Van Manubir Aham Tavasmi, I am yours with body, mind and words. I am not just your quiet, hidden maidservant. I want to be your marked maidservant. And this firm loyalty swallows the whole ego. Uh -huh. This is right. My father is solo. Our problem is my fault, that's all. Right. Now you see the beauty in a bodily consciousness, yes, read more. Even in so-called external consciousness. Ah, external consciousness also. Go on. The twanging of the Siddha Swarup is audible. Audible. You can see it, visible. You can feel it. See it. Even then the devotee desires the service of Sri Radha. Wow! External consciousness, 
they only do the service of Radhika. No other thing. They cannot do other things. <laughs> Inside and outside, Gurudev. Yeah. Chattaji. That's why the Siddha Swarup is the Chatra, is the umbrella. Yes, Chattaji. It is the protection and it is also always in the yeah. consciousness and then it, it swallows the whole ego, the false ego. Jananda Maharaj went to see Mahanidhi Swami. Mahanidhi Swami suggests we have to meditate in the lotus feet of Radharani. Jai Ho! So we are blessed. Jai! <laughs> you are with us today. I was missing you so much. Jalan. I know, so I'm missing you very much. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we are doing that. We are following his advice, right? Following. What is all? <clears throat> what is also very? Yeah, sorry. Yes, no, sorry. Go. What is also very important, I think, is that here the real pride is being a mild manjuri, and this pride will swallow the false pride. So our false ego will go away the more we are proud of being Radhika's maid servant. It is not that one pride is bad and the other one... If we have real pride as being a manjuri of Swamini, the false pride in this material world will also go away. I, this is very, very interesting point. The more we identify as Swamini's maid servant, the more we become humble and the more the false pride of being the enjoyer goes away. Because we are in our real constitutional position that was never recognized by my false pride. And when we want to start living in that, then false will automatically finish. Reality will stay on this. It will swallow by the reality. That yes, is. that is such a beautiful state. I have not reached it yet, but I always try to come, you know, closer and closer. And I have my 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 dear Gurudev and my dear brothers and sisters who are also pushing each other closer and closer. In your effort, uh, Suniti, yes, Radha Dajiam, and is is. Uh, is spreading so much, I cannot say you. Every place is start happening. <laughs> wow. When you are happy, Gurudev, we are happy. <laughs> this is the real Radha Dasyam that we sit and go inside. Mm. See our missing point to develop and improve ourselves. This is Radha Dasyam. Our flow has to flow only in this way. And without meeting and sitting and sharing, it's not possible. It's the mercy no. of Shiva who write it in the books, in the golden words. Only we have to meditate it. We are reminding each other. And one day we are talking, there are two types of person. One is flow, trying to flow inside to realize it, and one is talking about this and on details on this, but they don't try to go in, in that. So by your grace, it happens that we try to go inside to more to go fix it in our life. This is beautiful thing is happening. This is all your mercy, Gurudev, because we are already inside and we we just follow you and try to I am learning by I am for this. I don't get it. I am <laughs> trying to learn it. <laughs> So 
So Baba is also, you know, like Tarun, you say that Baba is giving us this, you know, so-called hint that he is living inside and he is, you know, emanating it outside. So that is why it is so important for us to always be close with our Gurudev. Because they are already more living inside in their eternal services to Swamini. They are helping us to also come inside. And when we are sitting close to them and we are hearing and we are meditating, then we will also be sooner or later a marked de uh, Darcy, a marked maidservant. So Niti, so Niti, I will go to the left. I will go to the laptop. I will come back soon. Okay, good, good. So I will continue reading a little bit because the whole purport is so rich and so beautiful. So such a devotee like our dear gurus and our whole you know, sadhus, they are, even in their external, so-called external consciousness, the Siddha Svarup is felt, is, is, is heard, because they are living in that. He is not satisfied with dreams, smaran, or visions. He wants the real thing. He wants the personal service. Even in external consciousness, Raghunatha strongly feels the absence of Swamini. So he rolls on the bank of Radha Kunda and he weeps. Not seeing her, my goddess, the queen of Vrindavan, <coughs> a certain maidservant who considers her lotus feet the only goal of her life, became very anxious and fell down at the shore of her lake, Radhakund, crying loudly out of pain and begging just to see her beautiful face. She sings the following names. That is a prayer of uh, um, Raghunathas, and he is praying, weeping and praying, please draw me to your lotus feet, calling me your maidservant. I won't be a quiet maidservant. I will be your marked maidservant. So in this position we feel that how Raghunathas is eager in his separation feelings. Although he's always connecting with Swamini, he's crying and he wants to see her. She, she wants to touch and to serve her. And just as his feelings of separation make his life airs reach his throat, he attains the vision of a divine pastime. Radha and Mohan sweetly enjoy themselves in a kunj on the bank of Radha Kun, and Tulasi watches it through an opening in the wall of the vines. After the love play is finished, the surrendered maidservants enter into the kunj. Shiradika takes the role of Svadina Batrika, the independent lady love who controls her lover. She lies down and the submissive hero sits at her feet, desiring to paint red color 
or lack on them single-handedly. Unless he has a submissive attitude, he cannot serve. Therefore, he sits close to Swamini's feet, wanting to anoint them with red leg dye. Tulasi holds the pot and the brush with the color in her hands. As tears of love stream from Mohan's eyes, our hero begins, begins to paint Swamini's foot soles and he is thinking in his heart, I am not so fortunate as this foot leg that I can stick to her feet the whole day. Everyone says that I am non different from my name. So let me let my name stay on her foot soles then. He then begins to write his name on the sides of Swamini's feet and becomes overwhelmed by the beauty of his own name written in red black on Swamini's feet. And again, he is thinking, Alas, even my name is more fortunate than me. Shila Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati writes in his Radha Sudanidi, I praise Sri Hari, who is the embodiment of profoundly enchanting spiritual flavor, who is gladdened by a wonderful great festival of play and whose head that is decorated with a beautiful peacock feather rolls at Sri Radhika's feet. Tulasi enjoys to see Sri Hari, Sri Mohan, his desire and endeavor, his zeal in decorating her lotus feet and she giggles, covering her mouth with a veil. Swamini says, what's going on? And kicks Tulasi for punishment on the arms with her foot that has the wet black still on it. Fortunate Tulasi thus has the auspicious signs like the flag, the thunderbolt, the barley corn, the chariot, the conch shell, and so on, of Swamini's foot soles printed on her shoulders through the foot leg. Swamini does not kick everyone like this. It's a sign of intimacy. With these auspicious signs, Tulasi proudly goes from kunj to kunj. Let everyone see that I am Radha's marked maidservant. So I would like to enter a little bit more this deep Leela which is full of surprises and full of deep feelings. First of all, what is the special mood of Swamini? 
When she is a Svadina Bartrika, the independent lady love, means that Swamini, after they have met, she is the one who is full of proud, pride. She is in her spiritual, you know, topmost position of having made Mohan so happy and so sweet through her association that he becomes the submissive hero. Usually we know that the hero are the men and the ladies are submissive. But in this case, Shimati Radhika, she is the victorious heroine. She is the lady love that is completely, you know, in charge now. She is the boss. She is the one who has the feelings of pride, like the scratch turmeric bulb. She is shining. She is in full Mahabhav. And Krishna Mohan, he has become the devotee of his Swamini, of his he has become like a like a kinkari in this feeling. He wants to decorate her lotus feet. And he is in the deep feelings of submission, of surrender and devotion. Actually, Mohan is now like a Dasi. He feels like serving Shimati Radhika's lotus feet. And Shimati Radhika, she is accepting his service. And actually, this is the highest and the most treasured situation in a Kinkari's life. When they are so happy that they are also serving each other in reversed roles. So Mohan wants to be even like the red color on Swamini's lotus feet. He is meditating. How can I always be with her? Yes, let me be the red color of her lotus feet. Let me be always close to her and not on the top, no, on, the, on her feet. Because in her feet, there's all her devotion and love, all her feelings and all her determination to, to run to our next meeting, to go on Avisar. So he wants to be like that, a small color, red, close to Swamini's lotus feet, in her Charan Seva, decorating her. And the Kinkari Tulasi is feeling this, seeing this, and she is overwhelmed. She's also a little bit, you know, she doesn't know how to behave. So she is like, covering her mouth and her face and she's smiling. Oh my God, look at our hero. He is in such a special mood. He's taking my service. And as we know, the Leela is very expanding also sometimes. You know, he's shaking when he puts the name and sometimes the maidservants tell, oh, let me do it. I think you are too much in ecstasy. And Swamini is in her pride, you know. That's why when Tulasi is giggling, she is uh, a little bit like, Hey, why are you laughing at my Mohan? <laughs> What's so funny about this? <laughs> so that's why she is kicking her with all the signs of her mercy, of all her attraction, of all her affection. Plus... We have to also consider one thing. When she is marked Tulsi, tooth, this is the red foot leg that was painted by Mohan on Swamini's lotus feet. So it's her complete ecstasy. It's not any red foot leg. It's the red foot leg of the full submission of Swamini's Mohan painting with tears in his eyes, melting in his heart that he wants to be 
like this red color always in her service. And when the maidservant gets marked with this, this is like unexplicable feeling of, of ecstasy that, yes, I want to serve Radha Mohan, my beloved Swamini, when she is in that position. Would you like to add on this something, someone? One, one short thing, Suniti. Yes. Um, one question came. Why they are giggling? So, if Krishna, we know from the scriptures, if he is, uh, makes some decorations, his fingers are not fixed, they are a little shaking. shaking. And so, when the manjaris see this, when he is a little nervous, because of this, there comes some giggling. They, <laughs> the, the, the Swamini knows and manjari knows, but Krishna don't know why they're giggling, because he is so concentrated on his seva that uh, he cannot uh, 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 share this this uh, this feeling, and uh, this is uh, some kind of a, a funny situation. And sure, this marked from Swamini. There is also this. You're right, Suniti. That is from Krishna, but it's not so exact as when the, if uh, Manjari is doing. This is a little, you see this, not this exact lines, and this is very funny, but they don't tell this official to, to Krishna, they don't, they don't like to blame him, because they love this very much when he is doing this. But on the other hand, they know, okay, he is not perfect, he is uh, somehow a coward boy, and he is... He is not so uh, good in the art like the Manjaris. And this, uh, for me, this is very funny to listen how they exchange their uh, jokings. And uh, yes, and uh, at one time it looks like a punishment, but it is an exchange of intimacy. It, it, very, very intimate uh, feelings that I like to add to, to this. Beautiful verse. Can I say it a little bit? Can I? Our ears become bigger when you speak. Um, I was interested in this, this sentence. I'm not so fortunate as this foot track. <laughs> because the foot track is always stay with Swamini. Mm. And at that time, you know, Krishna was a little bit so much ecstasy holding Radhika's feet, also Radhika's foot marks. And uh, feeling ecstasy, sometimes, you know, hand is trembling. And uh, not only hand, sometimes also, you know, all the body is kind of shaking, maybe some sweat, and so much ecstasy. And then Manjari was watching you know, like a jiggling. And another leader say, Swamini will say, hey, Mohan, get out. Tulas, you do this. <laughs> so in this case, I was feeling Krishna is tasting seva rasa, seva uh, service of uh, Swamini. And then at that time, he experienced all oh, what such position Manjari is, Kinkari is. So I wish to be, I wish to become Manjari. I want, I want to taste this Manjari's feeling. So that also reason why, you know, Mohan become Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Mahaprabhu uh, taste also not only Radha Baba. Also, I feel Mahaprabhu also wants to and uh, also tasted this, you know, Manjari's Baba. That's I'm feeling. This, this word, 
I'm not so fortunate as this food truck, or I'm not so fortunate as this manjari, kinkari. Mm. Like I was feeling like this. Rade, rade. Hmm. Let everyone see that I am Sri Radha's marked maidservant. Then suddenly the revelation vanishes, it goes away. And Sri Raghunath Das cries at Radha Kund, Ha Radhe, when will you print me? these auspicious marks on my shoulders. Prema is mixed with, these, with this foot leg. Therefore, Sri Raghunath Dasa uses the words Atti Sulalita Laksha. It is very charming because of the love it contains. Not when it is applied by us maidservants, but when it is applied by your lover. Will the hearts of us maidservants be pleased if he is not submissive to you? He who feels himself blessed when he even once catches the breeze coming from your flapping veil. We want Shiradha's superiority, but that does not make Shyam inferior, rather it brings his superiority to the limit. So that is also a very important subject because Krishna is the most beautiful and the most exalted personality when he is in the service of Radhika. Why is that so? Because then he can taste a little bit of the drop of the happiness of the mood of the maidservant. He would love to be in that position always, but he has many responsibilities. He has the parents and the love of Mother Yashoda. He has to divide his love. But our Swamini, she is one pointed in her love to him. So when Mohan, through his mood of submissive surrender to Swamini, after Prema Vilas, after they have exchanged the roles also, he feels like, as a Dasi, he feels like, Oh Swamini, let me always be with you, but I can't. But let me at least write your name. My name, I mean, sorry, on your foot soles with that beautiful red color of passion and rag. He has these desires fulfilled. And as Sri Chaitanya, he was living in that also. He aspired to live in that. And in the last years of his being in the Gambira, in the deep, deep feelings of Radha Bhav, he also experienced that feeling of Dasi Bhav, of Kinkari Bhav. And that's when his whole body transformed 
because these feelings are so exalted that even Lord Chaitanya's body could not remain in the same shape. He was crying profusely. He was forgetting where he was, how he came anywhere. He was floating in the ocean of this love, of that highest, highest love of servant, of being a servant in Radha Mohan's Leela. That's why he, in Radha Rasuda Nidhi, he is blessed when he catches the breeze coming from the veil of Srimati Radhika. And when Shri Krishna, when Mohan is in this mood, that is when he is most elevated, then he is the supreme Rasika Shekara. He is relishing that deep, deep feelings. And he himself wanted to have more of this. He, he was not satisfied by just having it in a short moment in the kunj. He wanted to live in this. He wanted to develop these feelings as his fixed points in his heart. When Bilva Mangala describes the beauty of Krishna's eyes, he says, Krishna's eyes have a quiet fullness through love. They became the abode of beauty. They are charming at every step. And they are novel, they are new every day. And Sri Krishna Das Kavidach writes in his Sharanga Rangada commentary on this verse that Krishna's eyes are so beautiful because they taste the rasa of Sri Radha's love for him. And Krishna says in Chaitanya Taitamrita, Although the mirror of Radha's true love is completely clear, its clarity increases at every moment. There is also no limit to the increasing of my sweetness, which shines in ever new forms in front of this mirror. So Krishna himself is saying that the mirror of Srimati Radhika's love is so unlimited in depth and in clarity that my love and my sweetness is also increasing through this, through her love. I want to see your submissive lover anointed with the leg dye of your foot soles. This is the prayer of the Dasi who has this highest feelings in her heart that she knows. In this moment they are both so very happy. In this moment that is the peak of their exchange of love. And I want to be marked. I want to have my heart impressions full of this sweet exchange in that moment, in that service, when I can hold the cup and the brush for Mohan. And when Mohan is shaking out of ecstasy, when he tries to write his own name on your Beautiful, beautiful lotus feet, Swami. Bhishma Dev and Aishvaya Upasaka 
one who meditates on Krishna in his divine majesty, majesty as a king of Dwaraka, was able by the blessing of his father to choose the time of his own death. And he waited until he could see Krishna in his heroic mood, Virarasa, before he died. And he says in Srimad Bhagavata, May my mind be fixed on Sri Krishna, the Supreme Self, whose hair was flowing as it was grayed by the dust thrown up by the hooves of the horses during the battle, and whose face was adorned by sweat drops, and who enjoyed being pierced up by my sharp arrows. In the same way, the Manjaris want to meditate on Sri Radhika in a particular way. They always desire to see the most enchanting couple moistened with sweat drops of exhaustion of their erotic battle, their dresses and ornaments loosened. The perfection of the eyes of the mandraries is to see the subdued hero and the independent heroine whose luster defeats the pride of golden-colored turmeric. So here we have again the connection to the first sentence of this verse. Why is it so important and why is it so amazing, this golden color of a scratched turmeric bulb? Because it's shining in the most beautiful way. Good, if I remember sometimes when you are talking about our exchanges, when we are sharing, then you say, they have scratched me and I couldn't start to talk about it. I couldn't stop to talk about it. You remember that? Jai Radha Charan! So good if also give this example that us as disciples, how we can scratch also how we can open this golden shining love, this rag, this anurag of the hearts of the Rasika Vaishnavas, of those who are feeling, you know, in their constitutional position, in their dasis, always in their dasi bab. So Gurudev, we also want to learn how to scratch you, that you will share from your heart, of your relationship with Swamini and how we can develop it in our lives. We want to be also your marked disciples, not any disciples, just quietly standing in the corner. Please help us also to develop this firm loyalty and this sweet mood of uh, we are yours, we want to serve you as you desire in these moods that you want to give to us. If I am not qualified, Guru Parampara means my Guru they will take care of you. Jai Ho! <laughs> At the beginning of Guru Parampara, if one of the child is not qualified, but I am connected with my Guru Dev, he will protect his grandson. The father love more, less to his son, but he love grandson are more loved by grandfather. <laughs> yeah. 
That is the beauty of parampara. <laughs> The grandfathers give all the love, and what is the father's mistake? He remove everything. That's the beauty. And he joke also, play also, <laughs> and his experience also, and very qualified also. That's the beauty of grandpa. <laughs> right? So, son are never qualified. When grandpa is sitting, they are great gold, merciful. <laughs> this is my hope, and this is hope. We have to keep it because we know this. We are we are in the lineage of that. That he said the Mahatma. You see, Tarun Baba, we are we are with the Baba sharing. Tarun Baba is helping us. These are the beauty of Rasik Vaishnavas. Merciful. They are helping us to grow more and more. They are always represent to grow us. Right you help there. us. You help us, Gurudev. You help us. No. Hmm. no. You are helping us. Baba thinks that we get to take, but my children will help each other. Good if this was such a wonderful explanation of parampara you know this feeling that they always are behind you this is giving us this is giving so much strength that you know where to belong that you belong to a certain family that you belong to to such a great great you know a team of, of of spiritual predecessors this is so nice and gives us so much strength i have not realized many things but i realized that the backbone of of, of spiritual life is parampara and the foundation of that strength you so nicely said is is parampara because what can we do on our own it's a very yeah. beautiful explanation gurudev thank you here is our little niece Emma. She wants to say hello, Gurudev. Hello, hello, hello. She's the, the, the daughter of Govinda Priya's brother. Wow. <laughs> I'm so loving. Alles good? Alles good? Alles <laughs> good. <laughs> She's very shy. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Shri Das shows great longing. Mm. Tulasi says, please mark me with the foot leg which was applied to your foot soles by your dedicated and submissive hero. So now the miracle is again lifted. It's the situation of all the circumstances that are so auspicious. And that's why Raghunath or Tulsi Manjari was so overwhelmed and happy that she got the mercy of Radha and Mohan together in a spe special circumstance of intimacy and uh, mood of service in Seva Ras. And she got the marked uh, foot of Swamini with all the beautiful signs and it's like a confirmation. Yes, I am yours. I want to be and you have also given me permission to be your maidservant. And Gurudev so beautifully explained, we never feel qualified, but we always have a backup, you know. Our backup is the Guru Parampara, these beautiful Dasis who are so 
mercifully looking on us, helping us, and a grandfather even more than the father. Because the father has to be strict sometimes. The father wants that their uh, daughter will be a very good girl, and sometimes they are a little bit strict, and they have to speak strong words. But the grandfather, what the good grandfathers do, they only give lollipops. Right, Gurdi? <laughs> <laughs> to all your grandchildren, you give lollipops. You give the sweets and you give the beautiful, beautiful, you know, encouragement of love and affection. You never see any faults in your grandchildren. So, also, we have our grandfather and our great-grandfather, and we know they are all Dasis, they are all realized servants of Srimati Radhika. So we are in a good family, in a spiritual, traditional family line of Dasis. Charana Kamala Sevam Hakada Dasya Sitvam Oh, when will you give me the devotional service of your lotus feet? That is his desire. When he is in, he is doing what is to be done when he is inside. And when he is outside, he is praying always for more service and more and more connection and realization. Devotional service is everything for a loving devotee. The pleasure of the Savior or the worshipped is the target or the goal of such service, not one's personal pleasure. That is also always a point that is uh, good to remember in our daily lives. In any situation, is it my ego who wants to win? Do I want to be right? Or do I really want to serve the love and the peace in this situation? And in relation to trip to Radha and Mohan, also Baba is uh, reciting one verse here from Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. Anukulyena Krishna nu shilanam bhakti utama. The highest devotion is that devotion which is favorable to Krishna. And favorable means something that is pleasing to Krishna. So we know that what is pleasing to Krishna when he can be in the service of Radhika. And Krishna free from likes. desire. And free from yes. Messiah, that verse, you know, this famous, famous verse. Which one? This one you just read, also free from desire, the definition of Uttama Bhakti, you know, the yes. favorable for Krishna and free from, free from our own desire, which is the biggest challenge in this life. I think we are growing inside of it. I feel like that. I cannot always be perfectly free of all desires, what I call my own. Yep. But I pray that my desires will be more refined and more pure, you know, going through the everyday uh, processes. You see, you see, if I may, uh, if I may share a very mundane, mundane example, please forgive me. But I was so inspired uh, because all the Acharyas, even Baba, Baba in his Rasa, uh, Rasa Darshan, he is saying that we should always take example, even from mundane poets, from mundane literature. He said that the feelings and the emotions we can transfer to the spiritual realm too. So I'm very honest. I sometimes I watch TV. I have no problem admitting that. So there is one very famous TV show from England. It's called Downton Abbey. And it's about the story of a family through 1912, when the Titanic sank, up to 1932, I think. It's a, it's a huge TV show with like 
80, 90 episodes. And the main, the main inspiration I took from that was because it, 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 it represents, it shows us a very, very, uh, uh, high class family and down in the, in the, in that house living the servants. So, and you can see the servants in that house, how humble they are, how, how absolutely beautiful they identify with their service mood. So I was thinking, my God, this is, this is actually also Manjari Bhav. They live in a very, very simple room. They serve the whole day their lordships, you know, lady this and lady that. They have no personal space. They have no privacy. They have no personal desires. So I was very inspired to see how humble and how beautiful these persons were acting at that time, 90, in the beginning of 1900s, you know. You can see they have so much so much pride in their servitude. They always speak a life in service. So we are used now that everyone serves us and everyone serves me and I buy this and I buy that. But to see how actually the servants have been living in these times is very much inspiring. And you can see they are all very happy because they identify with their roles as servant. And this was very beautiful to watch. And I tell you, this is also what what we are doing in our spiritual life, that we have this, this firm identification with a life in service to, to see us as instrument, like, you know, this song, dear God, make me an instrument of peace. You know, this, that we are actually instruments. And I just wanted to make a small example with a very mundane, mundane, uh, uh, comparison, but do you, you can find this, this beauty in servitude. This, it was what really inspired me so much to be happy with what that you are a servant. And you have pride in that service. And this can swallow, you know, your false ego. They have no false ego. They know I am born into this service attitude. And this was, it was very, very beautiful. Yes, we can get inspirations everywhere. No? Wherever I look, I only see you. I get reminded of my service, of my feelings that I want to develop. Even if I am in the process, if I am not perfect. And I have my grandparents, I have my yeah. father, my mother. They are helping me. All my brothers and sisters are helping me. This humble, <clears throat> this humble attitude. I love this humble. You, you, I'm not a humble person, so this I always check. If there is someone who is very humble, I want to learn from such persons to be humble and to, to be accepting what what comes in our way and not 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 go the other way. No, no, not only grandfather is helping, uncle is helping. <laughs> yes. All uncles are helping. Kaka ji, they say Chacha ji, why uncle? This is uncle helping. All they are ready to help. To be a, how to serve mm. and how to be in service of Radhika. Mm. You see, uncle ji is sitting here, Kesha Baba. You see? Dandavas. All they are Dandavad. Dandavad. Dandavad, Pranam. Behavior, by actions, all this. Uh, <laughs> you see? Jai Baba, we are coming. <laughs> so nice. Thank you. <laughs> Jai. Jai <laughs> all are ready to help us. Mm. And they give mercy through our, our love. By their behavior, they are not all. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. One day, I I was sitting with down the stairs, and Keta Baba going Hindi Mada. In sitting in down in stair with Jananda Maharaj at the I said, Prabhupada uh, is talking about Sarup and Sarup Siddhi. So, 
So I say, hey, you know, when I come to Vrindavan, I say only they practice this. We are no other sadhana. Sarup and Sarup Siddhi, how to get it? In our this Prabhupada page number four. And other thing we do in out of Vrindavan. So to, to come in this point takes long time. Then one person said, give me example. I said, okay. I call Balram, who is a carpenter here, Kesa Baba brother. Then I asked to Balram, what is meaning Sarup Sarup Siddhi? He said, Baba, I, I don't know anything, nothing. I cannot say anything in your front. I say, okay, okay. I, I ask wrong way to you. Then after two minutes when he forget, I say, yes, what is Sarup? Then he said, this is our sadhana. You <laughs> live in our sarup. You see? You can imagine one carpenter only this sadhana doing. As a carpenter, how he do? You see how he works. This is Sarupa Seva. His service, you see the behavior of Balram. This is must. You cannot imagine who is Siddha in Vrindavan. What he do, he, he become totally involved in his Sarup to do that service. That is Sarup. That is the Lord Seva is the Radharani Seva. There is no other Seva in that thing. That's the Sarup. Sarup Siddhi. This is the Guru Kripa, right? Parampara Kripa. Yes. I, I was there. I was actually there when Gurudev asked Balaram and he said something more. He asked, you asked Gurudev, you asked something more. And then Balaram said, yes, Parampara. He even said from his point, from his side, Parampara. <laughs> So, he's all there, there's nothing that is not there, but we take a long time to reach here. <coughs> but in Vrindavan, it's easy to flow there in the Sarupavas. One day, um, Sachinandan is reading Bhag Srimad Bhagavat. So I listen, he said that Yoga Maya is covered Vrindavan. So Mahamaya cannot enter here. If somebody wants to do the, any spiritual sadhana, is Yoga Maya helping? Yoga Maya what is easy to do in Vrindavan is very difficult to do outside of Vrindavan. 100%, 100%, Gurudev. So beautiful things. I remember when I was in Eti with my Mohan Baba, 
बंगला में दिस बुक वॉज है बंगला में अनंत दास बाबा जी का सेम बुक अनंत दास बाबा जी and it was so in rasa an bangla now i cannot do because no um, associate is there on the i have to go through english but i say thanks to that writer who make it is very beautiful words so, give in english so sang hai nahi ki wo angrezi mein kitab hai usko padh padhe usko mantra but in the machi i start after that and i am living still on that and still i cannot understand everything every every day is a new i think that something new is coming Read that line I said to read again. Repeat that. Gopi Nath is there. I was listening to that. No, again listen with Keshav Bhav. Yeah. The eternal spiritual absorption of Sri Raghunath Das is unadulterated. Un oh. oh. No, no, slowly, little. Yeah. The eternal ah. spiritual absorption of Sri Raghunath Das is unadulterated, Thank is you. uninterrupted, unchanged, unchanged too, unchanged too, unchanged, yeah. focused. Tanu van manubir aham tavasmi. I am yours with body, mind and words. My outcome should be one day. I am not just your quiet hidden maid servant. <laughs> I want to be your marked maid servant. This is And this firm loyalty swallows the whole ego. Even in so-called external consciousness, the twanging of the Siddhasvarup is audible. 
बाहर शरीर में भी बाहर शरीर में भी उस सिद्ध स्वरूप का आवेश मजेश बना रहता ऐसा अपने स्वरूप में का विमान हो जा रहे से बाहरी स्वरूप में शरीर में भी सिद्ध स्वरूप का अभिमान बना रहता सो ब्यूटिफुल दिस इज द हार्ट ऑफ दिस टूडे यस दैट इज द सार This is the mercy that when this day will come, when my sadhak day will become audible, I can see in my sadhak day ha that Siddha Saru is happening. When this abhiman will come, when this abhiman will come to me, when when will they? When it will happen? That is Guru Kripa. That is Guru Kripa. Vaishnav Kripa, Sadhu Kripa. That I can audible. I can see in my Sadhak Deha. In that Sadhak Deha. I can see audible to my Siddha Deha also all the time. I can see in my Sarvabhava. In that Abhiman means I am always in my Siddha Deha. Before I was living in the city home, now I start living in the garden home. I not go to visit some time to the garden, our city home. I am living in the city home, and I calculate with everything with city home. Means I am, I am living in Sarupavish thirty four seven. The when this day will come. Somebody in Sarupavish will come. Who will you meet? Right, Krishna Baba. Is he a Krishna to say? I said this mercy we need, right? Yes, and we need also the mercy of our uncles, Guru Dev. That was yeah. also beautiful point. Uncle, to do. Grandfather, because my father is not very qualified, so uncle and grandfather will help me. <laughs> All will help me. Right? Now they are all is with me. All they are together. Right? Yes. He That is very sweet, Guru. Almost Ketab Baba life now. <laughs> This firm loyalty swallows the whole ego. No, brother, what you reading? Read, yeah. Whole ego, false ego, <laughs> all the false ego, all the false ego gone. <laughs> Is a false. Is a false identification is my false ego. What is not, I accept that this is mine. That is my false. I do open I will show you. Do what is mine, what I am, that I live it. You want to do that? We can do it. But you see, you can't do it. You must be careful. Wow! 
body kirpa i no believe that any place you will like these words any place so search me second book like this hmm <laughs> 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 And that's amazing because I read that these purports are only like half of what is written, right, Tarun Baba? It was much longer and more. Mm, yeah. Need the Bangla. You need the you you would need the Bangla. That's right. Ah, okay. If you read the Bangla, you will cry on it. Every line will cry, but you have to learn that. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm unfortunate. First time understanding in Bangla. Now I'm trying to read it, listen in English. <laughs> I have the Bangla upstairs, so next time I can bring it when we when we when someone can speak Bangla. That is very nice. Impossible. That's true. It takes time, my dear. It's a Guru Kripa. I never learned Bangla, but all the God brothers help and Guru Dev help. There was no other association of me. I start learning Bangla. It is was in seventies for me. I never learn any alphabet. I don't know nothing, but I know. Yeah. I remember when we were in Krishnananda's place in Switzerland when when he was reading Krishnananda was reading Vilabakusumanjali in Bangla and you were directly translating and speaking from that one it was a very different experience it was wonderful but like Bangla you cannot imagine in any words in the English or Hindi that was wonderful beautiful the anandas baba ji heart was there his first coming in bangla then it translated in english or hindi mm -hmm. yes so it's a luck for us that somebody is sharing and sitting yeah. and talking within english yes Unbelievably lucky. So many people now. Seventy-three person is listening. Seventy-three plus somebody is sitting with them. They are listening, mm. and they are all inspiring. You understand? Their ear will become bad <laughs> when they will listen about Radhika. Ten days, one month, they will hear will become bad. <laughs> they cannot listen other things. They cannot like to listen other than this. As to Maharani city, she want to listen other than will after Sumanjali. Ask. No. No. <laughs> See what good news I give you. They start Zoom classes in Switzerland. They will do this. Maharani say something. Not I. <laughs> oh, Guru Dev. So we were sitting together today and. Um, we just felt um, this is embarrassing now. Guru you have Dev. to take the mic, Emma Harani. This is embarrassing now in front of everybody. So we were sitting this morning and um, I was just asking how how can we how can I go deeper and how can I be more connected and coming so long and feeling there is no much
Not much. Uh, I don't. I forget all the words now in English. I'm say I translate. <laughs> kind of fortunate. No progress. Yeah, not much progress. So um, and then he said, yeah, we we in the Swiss in Switzerland we need to be more close with each other, and we should start in like our language in our the way we are. Um, to make Zoom calls, and he gave me, and now I, I say now, Gurudev, because you want me to say it, I know. I should make once a month a live meeting for the Swiss devotees, so I'm engaged. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm engaged in Seva. Very, very so good it idea. Was, it was my desire to do something, and um, yeah. Okay, Gurudev? And also Zoom classes. Yes, we will okay. do every week one Zoom class and um, uh, prana, 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 exactly. He was reading, so he was sharing so nice this morning. So, and Nilambari was there, so the three of us, we were there and we will um, arrange and we will talk with everybody so everybody is heart is really welcome and and we would like to start with the swiss devotees because we feel we we really need to share with each other and as Very you good. can see in the german call in the sh german meetings swiss don't really talk we are um, from one side, chai. From other side, we are not so fast in thinking. Until we want to say something, the subject is somehow gone. So we have. To <laughs> therefore, therefore, you need such a sangha. You need you need your own people. That is a beautiful idea. And then we can also, it can develop. And we we felt when we have to, you know, when we start to share. We can develop more and the, the association and also realizations and yeah, I didn't know we have to share that right now. <laughs> Don't make it open. Just start with private and then later on. I will. We will. We will. We are all ready. Later on. Don't worry. Thank you, Gurudev. And what is the subject? <laughs> <laughs> there, is on, there is only one subject that we really want to realize that we are Radha Dasis. And wow. what is our seva? What is our service? How can we go deep? And that's the only subject. Wow. Wow. Baba, you are doing miracles. Yeah, <laughs> I'm doing nothing, Gurudev. I'm just sitting here, seeing, looking up on this great devotee sitting in Vrindavan. I am happy, Gurudev, that I can see you very soon. Time will rush now, beginning of April and 31st of March is the flight. So after a long time, I pray that everything will be fine. I want to go to Radha Kund, see Radha Kund again. Baba Samadhi, my God. I hope everything will go fine. Yeah. Baba not seen Samadhi. Baba oh. is in a, in a form of category. Mm, he is here. Yeah, I know Gurudev. But, but I, I, I also miss Radhakun very, very much. My Gurudev, when he, he sent me Mugir, he said, I will never leave you. No. Yes. Yes. Never do disappearance day. Yes. I think that he disappeared. Yes. I feel, I feel the same, Gurudev. Not say Samadhi then. Yes. He's appeared. His temple, his temple is there. Yes. He's living there. Mm. Yes. Never disappear from our heart, then we will die. Yes. I agree, Gurudev. Sorry. Thank you. That is a good point. I was just wanting to say I miss Radakun. That's my whole uh yeah. That's my whole motivation. I know that Baba is always upstairs with me in, in my heart. He's always with me. I know he told me so. I know. And I feel it also, every yeah. day. He expands more in the Chaitanya Guru form to sit in our heart. Before he was living one place, now he become more divine to sit in every place mm. and guiding us. Yes. 
थैंक यू राधे राधे जय राधे थैंक यू मारो गोपिका इज गोइंग यूरोप एंड गोपीनाथ हैज टू गो ऑल्सो एंड बिग फेस्टिवल्स आर कमिंग I am really sending because he has an office meeting. He has to be responsible for going there and do that. You're very lucky because Europe is no more crazy anymore. Go, go, be not and go, be cut. You are very lucky. The craziness is stopped. Can you come there, Aaron? Huh? Can you come with me? Where? <laughs> to Europe. I am in Europe, man. Oh, you're in Radha. Always. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you here. I'll, I'll be here when you come. Definitely, definitely. It is coming on twenty seventh. Yeah. Oh. Beautiful. Twenty first, cool day. Oh no, twenty uh, on first of March. Sorry. <laughs> Tomorrow, you are a Sundar writing that he is coming on twenty seven. No, no. If we are flying on twenty eighth and we are arriving on first uh, of March. The twenty eighth. It's a shalt ya. It's a shalt ya. This year, uh, the the February has only twenty eight. Twenty eight. Oh, so faster you are coming. <laughs> we are jumping for for, for some days. Okay, I think that is now be to run the seven to me. Yeah, okay. It's a, still, still good. Yeah, this month, this month is little less days. Over this month, over. Yeah. Over. Already, already March. So you're back. Already <laughs> <laughs> March. Yeah. Ah, boy. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Good day. Thank you.